It's okay, Judge. You were looking on the wrong side there for a second. That's all right. <laughs> I was coming down the road a while ago and saw a bunch of signs about a party somewhere. Thank you all for coming to my birthday party today. 5,000 of my closest friends, thank you so much for coming today. Good afternoon and welcome to the 134th Annual St. Jerome's Fancy Farm Picnic in Graves County, Kentucky. One of the six counties, beautiful counties in western Kentucky that I get to represent as the first district senator. It is my privilege as host senator for these great folks to welcome you here today. Governor Bashir, thank you for those comments. We look forward to working with you too whenever the house is flipped next session. I would like to thank St. Jerome's Parish, Father Darrell, and especially Mark Wilson for all the work that he and the staff put on for putting this on every year. You know, organization stuff like this just doesn't happen. It takes a world of effort and planning, and congratulations, St. Jerome's Parish, to another great picnic this year. Thank you very much. And the stage improvements are great. We can actually see you, and you see us, and this is working out wonderful this year, so nice improvements. You know, being from this area, we local folks often take for granted the beauty of the region and all of its offerings. So if you're visiting with us for the first time today, I think you will understand why we love this area so very much. But we also love our nation and are very concerned about what is happening in our country and around the world. In November, each of us will have a say in the direction this country takes. And I encourage you to do, first educate yourself on the candidates and the issues and then take to action to help make sure our nation has leaders who are up for the monumental task at hand. We have several local elections coming up in November, also some state senate races and state representative races, as well as a U.S. Senate race you may have heard about. And we'll be hearing more about those from those candidates and the seasoned veterans in here in a bit. So please give them your attention today and look at what they stand for. Our nature's future is at stake. And what exactly is at stake? To have a seasoned veteran reelected to become the Senate Majority Leader? To fight Obama, Reid, and Pelosi? To ensure our freedoms and liberty? protect our nation's interests in foreign and domestic, to support our young men and women fighting abroad, or to elect, or to elect a young lady who has never passed, who has never passed one single piece of legislation who is a novice to foreign policy and will only be there to rubber stamp what the government wants her to do. Folks, we can't stand to have this happen. Our working men and women can't stand to have this happen. Our families can't stand to have this happen. Our state and our country can't stand to have this happen. We have to get our get out and do our part to re-elect Senator McConnell to another term in Washington, D.C. My friends, hoping and wishing, hoping and wishing something's going to happen is not enough. We have to do our part make phone calls, put up yard signs, getting ourselves to the polls and others, asking the candidate how the staff can help you be willing and able. Ladies and gentlemen, this election is huge, not only for our children, but our grandchildren. Folks, America needs you right now. This is the time and the place to say enough is enough. Let's take back America before it's ever too late. Thank you and God bless. <laughs> 